Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a quick look at the game Bejeweled. This board game is for two to four players, ages eight and up, and the average play time is about 15 to 30 minutes. Now just like the video game, players are going to be trying to form matches three, four, or five in a row uh, in order to score uh, these coins. Let's just take a quick moment to look at the components and uh, how the game is played. All right, and these are the basic components that come with the game. You've got a tray, which holds an 8x8 grid of these gems. You've got some extra gems over here, uh, some of them being uh, power gems, as represented by the sparkles that are inside these things. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There we go. And lastly, we have these coins, which players will be trying to earn in order to win the game. Now, not pictured here is a bag, a bejeweled bag. I don't know what happened, but my copy did not come with one, so instead I'm using a brown paper bag. Uh, my guess is that uh, the, the copy that I bought was a return, um, and I guess the folks that owned it previously did not return uh, the game with that bag. As far as setting up the game goes, players will draw 64 random gems from the bag, which I don't have, um, and put them out on this tray and each gem has a base, so it's pretty easy just to slide them right on the tray. Now it's important to note that none of the initial 64 can be power gems, so you can't place any of these out on the field initially. Okay, now on a player's turn, what they're going to do is they're going to swap two adjacent gems in an attempt to match three, four, or five in a row, uh, horizontally or vertically. So let's say I went ahead and swapped this blue one with this red one, that would cause three in a row. Now what happens at this point is that these three blue ones would be moved off to the side temporarily. And depending on which direction I was facing the board, I would be sliding gems uh, to fill those empty spaces. If I were facing the board from this direction, I would be sliding these up. If I were facing the board from this direction, I would be sliding these down. Now, let's say I was facing from this direction, and I just move these up. What I would do from this point is I would uh, pull three more gems from the bag and fill the empty, uh, empty spaces here. And then I would place these three blue ones back into the bag. Now, the object of the game is to collect these coins. A player is going to need to collect three sets of colors in order to win the game. A set consists of three uh, coins. So I would need, let's say, three red, three purple, and three blue coins in order to win the game. Well, how do you collect coins? Well, uh, you need to make matches on the board. Let's say I switch this red one and this white one around. Now that would cause me to score with red here and white here. Now let's say, uh, just to speed up time a bit, let's say I went ahead and removed these scored gems from the board. Let's say I slid the gems around as I needed to, uh, and also I put the matched gems back into the bag. I would then uh, collect a red and a white coin and put it into my score pile. Now if you manage to match four in a row, you get two coins. If you manage to match five in a row, you get three coins. If one of those happens to be a power gem, you score an extra coin. So there's a few different ways to earn, uh, to earn coins. But for the most part, um, making matches is what you're going to want to do in order to win the game. All right, and just to quickly illustrate uh, what that was all about, let's go ahead and play a few practice rounds. Uh, Vinny's going to assist me, so uh, go ahead and you go first. You're swapping out the purple and the red. Now that makes a match of three, so he can take those off. Now you're facing that direction. Yep, slide that down. Very good. And now you can draw three from the bag. Got three. And go ahead and put those in there. One. Two. Three. All right, and now you would get a red chip for matching those, and you can go ahead and put those red ones back in the bag. All right. So now that you have one red chip, it's my turn. Let's see what I can do. Um, I will go ahead and match... Hmm. 
I'll go ahead and match this orange, swap this blue and orange gem, and then that'll match these three oranges. I will slide these green down, pull three from the bag. Now when you're doing this, and you happen to place one that would make another match, that's illegal. You'll have to find a different gem to replace it with. Had this been green, for example, that would have been illegal. All right, and I'm going to put these three orange back in the bag, and I get to collect an orange chip. All right, now, um, looks like I can make a match here that would involve a power gem. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this blue and this purple. That would move these off of the board and slide everything this way. All right, and I draw three from the bag. All right, put these purple ones back into the bag. And I would gain these two purple chips, one for making a match of three and one for making uh, one of, because one of them included a power gem. All right, your turn. Guess what? Thank you for a difference. Ah, it looks like you matched four. All right. I'll be sliding everything this way. Yep. This would go here, this would go here, this would go here, and this would go here. Mm -hmm. You get to draw four from the bag. And it's important to draw from the bag first before you put the uh, ones you matched uh, back into the bag. All right, so what you got? So go ahead and put those down. Yep. This. This, I'll just bring them in place and... Let's fix these. Oh, sweet. There's, there's a now, put those four blue ones back into the bag. There's no problem. All right, and now how many coins would you get? I would get two. Two blue ones, very good. Yes. You matched four, so you would get two blue coins. All right. From the scene. So what did you do now? You matched red and white. Four red and three white, okay. So go ahead, there you go, and I'll push those forward. There you go. And now we get to draw a seven from the bag. Go ahead and put those down. Well, that was this purple, darn it. I'll put it. Yeah, we'll put that over here. That way it doesn't look like I'm cheating. There we go. All right. You can get a now you get to put, you get two red chips. But where did I have the yellow one? And right there. And a white chip. So how many how many coins do you have right now? You have three red, three blue, two green, one white. So all you need is one more green one and you win. I have three purple, three orange, and that's actually it. So I need three more coins of a particular color in order to win. So you now it's my. Do, you can do orange. I could do the orange, but that wouldn't help me at all yeah. because I don't need There's orange. Yellow. You could do. Well, I'm looking. It's well, double I was. I could try and go for a white, but I don't see any white, so I'm gonna do this green one just so, to prevent you from. Oh, you just made me one. Did I win? Well, yeah, it, yeah, I see that. All right. <laughs> all right. So let me go ahead and build. Oh wait. But, Push these forward. Now I fill those in. Oh, you just made me loot. Um, right, we'll see. All right. Put the green okay. ones back in the back. Oh, wait. Yeah, so I get... Not that I need the purple. <laughs> All right, so let me... Do more here. Orange. I won with the... I could win... I couldn't win with yellow. All I right, so I get yellow. a purple for doing that. Not that I really need it. And um, green. All right. My turn. 
Yes, it is your turn. And you could win this game right now. Okay. Think before you move. Yeah, but I don't want to win. Look at the board. What color do you need? Green. Green. So look for a green. Or orange, for that matter. How many orange do you have? How many orange coins do you have? Two. And how many green coins do you have? Three. You have two. Yeah. So, yeah, you could crush me in one move. Okay. There you go. So I'm not even going to bother moving stuff around. That's two green coins. I want to see what I get. Of course Let's you're going to rub it in. <laughs> no, I want to see what I get. Okay. You see, maybe I can get more coins. So instead of, like, crushing me big time, you can crush me extra big time? What? <laughs> Alright. No. I'm putting it here. Okay. There you go. So I gave you your coins. You can put those three green ones that you did back in the bag. Alright. All right. So what is your final coin count? What do you have? Four green, three orange, three blue, three red. All you needed was three sets to win. I only have four Holy purple, crap. four purple, three orange, one green, one That's white. Three so three orange, three blue. I want more. Good. I have four sets. Yeah, you have four sets. All right, so it looks like you're the winner of this game. And there you have it. It's just a very brief look at the game Bejeweled. Um, I think it's an okay game. Uh, I'm a little miffed that the, uh, the Bejeweled bag didn't come with the game. I really can't fault PopCap for that, though. It may be the retailer's fault. Um, but, as, but besides that, the game came with these baggies that were supposed to hold these gems, and they're not Ziploc and they barely hold the gems of one color, so I, I don't like those. I ended up using uh, a hefty, large uh, zip bag here uh, for the gems and a small sandwich bag for the coins. And of course, the brown paper bag took the place of the Bejeweled bag that I was missing. Um, the components are pretty flashy, um, and I like that they're very eye-catching, but um, the presentation, I think, with the baggies uh, and the storage could have used a little bit more work. Well, you can check out the rest of my thoughts uh, via my review, and you can find that at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com, or you can click on the link in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince and Benny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.